Well, the goal here, guys, the goal here today is to try something different. You know, I'm usually the guy who goes to the surf, puts the shrimp or the sand flea, and just lets it soak in the salt water and waits for the rod to bend over. But not today. Today, I got a new rod, new reel, shorter, lighter, and more fun. So I said, why not? Let's get a lure. And I'm not here to promote any lures, any rods or reels. Remember, guys, you don't buy nothing, you don't click nothing, you don't sign nothing. This channel is free. It's just for us, me and you, to enjoy fishing. So that's what I'm doing. Enjoying fishing, trying something different. I love flounder. So this is the reason maybe why I'm doing this. Is to get on some flounder, guys. So I got the smaller rod. Much lighter. I can cast it back and forth. And I'm going to do the voodoo shrimp lure for right now just to start with. But like I said, I'm not here to promote any lures or anything like that. Just uh, trying something different. You know, doing the lures is not my thing. So I hope I have success. Wish me luck. Well, we're gonna try this spot out right here. This looks promising. Right here, this is the Sebastian River. Okay, guys, there's no need to hide where I'm at. See where I'm at right under the bridge of Sebastian River. We just got a new rod, new reel, a seven foot Penth Pursuit 3. Look at this, somebody's phone is here. But yeah, we wanna try this lure. It's a voodoo, voodoo shrimp. First, first catch of the day on the voodoo. Whoa, whoa! Look at that bad boy. Look at that bad boy, man. Yes, sir. Man, I just got here, man. Second cast. Wow. Look at that beauty. Love it. Giant too. Look at that. Hmm? Look at the teeth on this guy, bro. Look at the teeth on him. Wow. Look at that. Huge. This is probably the biggest flounder I've ever gotten. Now let's see how much you weigh. Oh, three and a quarter. Yeah, three and a quarter, babe. Can't go wrong with that. We had a huge mullet just, just jump right there in front of us, guys. And something huge is chasing it too. Because they don't just run off like that. There's definitely something behind them. And we don't have no... We don't have no mullet, but we got this voodoo shrimp, you know what I'm saying? So let's cast, let's get a little closer here, right where the mullet was, right there guys, 
All right, it's pretty deep over there too. All right. Let's see what we got here. Now for you guys that do lures out there, any recommendations? Am I uh, twitching too soon? Should I let it sit there for a little bit after I cast it? Because my thing is, I'm casting. I'm waiting for it to go hit the bottom, okay? I'm closing the bail on the reel. I get the line tight, okay? And I go, wham, wham, wham. Whoa! <laughs> The big ass mullet. Not only they're great bait, man, but they fry pretty good too. If you've never tried a mullet before, you'll love it, man. But yeah, like I was saying, what's the best way to use these lures? Okay, so I cast it. It's on the bottom, and I'm twitching the shrimp up to make it look like it's dancing. Now, do I keep it on that one spot? Or do I keep reeling it closer to me and then recast? Because I'm learning. I'm learning on this. This is not my, it's not my thing right here. But hey, if it gets me to catching flounder, it will be my new thing. Because I love me some flounder, boy. Oh yeah. Love me some flounder. Definitely a top three eating fish. Definitely are not my top three. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to get it. Look at the wing. Up, up, up. <laughs> that guy is so up, up, weird. Up, up, up. Up, Look at up, this. Try and catch. Oh, he snapped my stuff, dude. Okay, I'm gonna stop messing with him because these lures, guys, are expensive. Are you gonna go in the water and get him? And we need them for our flounder. All right, guys. We gave this spot about half hour. We got that flounder, that beast, in like one minute on our second cast. So now, we don't just change spots. We're gonna go on top of the bridge right here. And by the way, I'm loving this new setup. Yeah. I'm gonna go on top of the bridge here. It may, it may get a little loud. Okay. Birds. Oh, I can't even see if there's fish from up here. I mean, it's not that clear. But we're gonna try to go to the middle over there. And it's starting to get hot. Whew. It's all good though. We're gonna put in that work. Stay tuned. that beautiful turtle
whatever she does, I hope she stays away from our shrimp. I ain't gonna lie, being on top of this bridge with the cars driving by, I don't know. I like fishing quiet. I don't like all this noise. So, we're gonna give it about another 10 minutes. I'm gonna fish that sheephead candy right there under those pylons. Up, 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 up. Fish on, guys. Oh. Oh. Another flounder, baby. Oh, yeah. Check out this beauty. <laughs> Loving it. Man. The shrimp. Voodoo is killing it. Man, he hit that thing hard. Let go of my bait, dog. Gonna be biting my shit with your big ass teeth. Look at this guy, man. How awesome is that? Alright. He lives to fight another day. When you cast in the lures and you feel like you got tangled on a piece of weed or you think you got tangled on some rocks, listen, that's a flounder. <laughs> That's the way they hit, man. It feels like just a light, tangled. You'd be like, what? let me really see. Let me get it off. Maybe it's a bag or something. Next thing you know, it's a flounder on that baby. Man, I'm telling you. This, like I said, I never use lures, dog. I'm the guy who puts the sand fleas and the shrimp on the hook and waits for the rod to bend over. That's what I do. So for me, to catch flounder on this lure right here, man, hey, you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Let's put it out that way. So give it a go, man. Try it out. Like I said, I ain't here trying to promote shit. I ain't selling this. But if it's working for me, you're going to put a killing on them. Get out there, man. Get you some flounder. Look at this guy, bro. Look at this dude. Huge. Huge flounder, baby. Hmm? What a beast. Let's go. This flounder is so big, it's hanging off my cutting board. <clears throat> oh yeah, time to fillet this bad boy.
what else? We've got the butter, the lemons, the olive oil. I'm gonna splash a little bit of pepper and a little bit of garlic. Not too much of garlic, just a little. And that is it. Put it in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes and you'll be good to go. Jax, I need your opinion. What do you think of the flounder? What do you rate it from 1 to 10? 10 out of 10. Wow, I'm impressed. 10 out of 10 for the flounder. 